Hello, freak bitches. But he beat Conor McGregor in a way that you would expect a real specialist to beat someone who's just pretty good at it. He was masterful. It's fucking awesome to watch. And uh, what Connor said afterwards is hilarious, too. I turned him into a Mexican. He fought like a Mexican. Because that's what people love about Mexican fighters, that Mexican fighters are known for coming straight at you. Like, Mexican fighters aren't dancers. They're not dancing around and, you know, doing the Ali shuffle. They're like Julio Cesar Chavez. They're moving forward. You know, they're like Marco Antonio Barrera. They're moving forward. Mexican boxers are like some of the proudest, most rugged warriors ever. That's how Floyd fought. fought. He really did fight like a super technical, aggressive, brawling style. And he tired Conor out and then beat his ass. It's beautiful. Man, beautiful for boxing, beautiful for, um, for the overall art of fighting. Because it, it, we need to see these things. I think this thing that we're all participating in, fans of, of MMA, practitioners of MMA, this thing that we're all participating in, is trying to figure out what style is the very best style for fighting period. And then we found along the way that it varies. It varies on the individual. Styles make fights, and then sometimes one guy can beat another guy, but that guy can beat someone who can beat him, and it gets real weird. Like, MMA math is like one of the squirreliest fucking uh, predictors of like who's going to win a fight ever. But we're finding out like what, what's fucking real. Like when you've got all the belief in yourself in the world, when you've got knockout power, when you really believe you can beat the greatest boxer of all time, what happens? Oh, you get fucked up. Okay, that's good. It's good to learn. It's good to learn. It's good to learn that even though he lands, it a, few, lands a few shots, makes it a real interesting contest, good to learn that the best specialist of all time is that for a reason. This isn't bullshit. This is Floyd Mayweather. He's 49-0, and now he's 50-0. I mean, that's, that's good for combat sports. It's good for everybody. That's what's so stupid about this whole boxing versus MMA feud. It's so dumb. It gets everybody excited about fights. And this inter-competition thing between uh, an MMA fighter coming over to boxing, that's even more fun. Because then it gets like everything excited on both sides. And I think it's gotten a lot of people super excited about Canelo Alvarez and Triple G, which is next weekend. People are super pumped up about that fight, particularly because... We're just past this Connor Floyd Mayweather fight. Floyd Mayweather uh, has his way with Connor, just puts on a display. And now we're going to get to see, instead of the master versus a guy who really wasn't on his level, now we're going to get to see two guys in their prime at the top of the food chain. Two of the top three, top four pound for pound fighters in the world. And they're going to go at it. So it's good for everybody. They just don't, they, these guys are so old school. They understand social media in a sense. They know they can use it to promote fights. They don't know that it's changed the whole community. And that instead of like having some stupid rivalry with this other like sport, MMA, instead of having that, just accept each other. Accept each other and, and talk highly of the best examples in both sports. And everybody will be fine. I mean, that's what you're seeing with this Conor McGregor, Floyd Mayweather fight. That's what you're going to see with the Triple G, Cadell Alvarez fight. You don't have to be one or the other. And the boxing people don't have to not like MMA. I love boxing. And I work in MMA. I love boxing. I watch all the big fights. I'm always gonna. It's fascinating. It's awesome. It's nice to know who the real specialists are. You know, when it comes to that, I love kickboxing. Big fan of that, too. I like to know. I, I, I love jujitsu. I want to know. I want to know how good are the best guys. What would happen if the best guy in the UFC fought the best guy in jujitsu in a straight-up jujitsu match? I want to see. You know, those, are, those things are interesting. Ha, 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 ha.